Okay guys, uh, we did, uh, after our condenser water uh, issues, we had some trouble refilling it, uh, refilling the loop, getting the air out of it, and part of it was I talked to you about this area before, it had a bunch of bad parts, so uh, a bunch of bad valves and stuff. Uh, this check valve, being the first thing, uh, is bad. It doesn't really matter now because we have a ball valve over here. So this is our city pressure coming in. And this check valve should be isolating the condenser water pressure from the city water pressure. If you shut one off, then water, anyways, water doesn't go. You know how a check valve works. Uh, so these valves are completely useless now. They're just in line. Uh, we have a new union here. Uh, the old pressure regulator, the pressure regulator failed, and that was causing uh, us uh, trouble with the new plastic pipe we just welded uh, because it was putting city pressure. This ball valve was leaking by, so we replaced that. Took this whole thing down, replaced that, coupled it here, and we put this T in. Uh, and here's our new pressure regulator. We put that in. Anyways, we put a union here so we can take it apart if we want. Um, and this is a city pressure bypass, so if we want to fill the loop fast. All right. So now, we're, and, and then after we got that all, all dealt with, we had our uh, TMP valve stuck open. I came in here the next morning and it was gushing water everywhere. Uh, so then we, obviously we couldn't have that. So we got a new one of those now too. Uh, a little bit smaller, more compact, the three quarter inlet and outlet. And, uh, and we're gonna put a pressure gauge on there too so we can keep an eye on it. So I'm gonna put this valve on the end of here. Wrapper. We got a, a three-quarter inch female adapter up there, so we're going to go into the sea from there. Uh, we have a little reducing bushing for the gauge right there, and we put another brass nipple for that, and then the valve goes on the end of there. And then we'll tie our drain line in. It was one inch drain before, so we have to go male adapter, and then we have a, a reducer in there somewhere. Yeah. Reducer. Yeah, put another union in there somewhere and then uh, that'll be that and we'll show you that okay guys uh, we got our finally got our uh, all the air purged out of our system and uh, got it to hold went off for 15 pounds or so uh, we pulled the makeup and the condenser water valves open so we're good now uh, our pressure valve has stopped relieving itself so now I can go ahead and tie it all in and uh, make it all pretty See, I got this, this one joint done already. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven joints to do real quick. So, uh, hopefully, we're gonna set the camera right uh, now somewhere. Somewhere clever. We'll do some speed sweating. That's gonna give you kind of a cool angle. Right. I got one of those hat cameras ordered, I promise. Coming up soon. I got time.
Not too shabby. Alright. So that's that. Uh, we got that tied in. Tighten that union, tighten this union. Okay. We're, uh, we're back here in the boiler room and uh, showed you something before. Uh, in the midst of all of our uh, uh, condenser water uh, issues and uh, whatnot, uh, trying to get the system filled back up and uh, discovered a number of faulty parts, one of which was this pressure makeup regulator. Okay, so that guy's toast. Bye bye. Um, so, and because you're under the gun to get the building filled back up and everything uh, everything working again, uh, I had to just run to the plumber supply house and grab this uh, regulator. Which is uh, very nice for domestic water. Uh, but not so much for hydronics. It's not very accurate. Uh, it's not not repeatable, as you might say. Um, anyways, so this one is going bye bye. Uh, we'll save it for something else, I guess. And we got a proper uh, bell and gossip regulator now. Set that 12 psi. So, uh, but in the process of doing things correctly, um, there's always um, something fun. Not too hot anymore. And you see, this one had these nice little sweat adapters. Uh, it went in between that and that, and there's a little O-ring in there. Had a nice little union on either side, built in. This one just has three quarter pipe threads. <laughs> Oi! So, to do things right here, we're gonna put. A union right here. Then we're gonna put the union, reducing valve, and another union. Uh, it's the only way to do it. Kind of silly, but what are you gonna do? Um, so we'll get after that. Um, uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a union and a male adapter. I thread the male adapters into here ahead of time, of course. Um, and then a union on either side, sweat everything together, and call it done proper. Uh, we got to get our uh, relief valve on here, which is the proper one. Also, all hydronic and proper and everything. And uh, so, so we'll get after that, and it'll be more better when we're done. Okay, here we go.
soldery. Solderific. I don't want no extra drip to solder though. Come on now. What do you think of that? Well, no more solder. That's just as well because I'm done anyway. Go ahead and wipe all these down. Nice and pretty. Tighten up all our unions over there in here. Make sure it goes in nice and straight, of course. That wouldn't be proper any other way. And knock all this solder off the whole way. Okay, guys, thank you for watching.